Ah, oh, can I do as well? I'm gonna get that Chinese made circuit breaker off this battery charger if I can find it. Oh, yeah, just what I'm gonna do, hook it up to this cord, ballast it, just let it burn the shit because I don't know what the hell this thing is shorting against. I can't find anything where it could possibly be shorted to. These connectors just burn out for no particular damn reason, so I don't know what the hell's wrong with it. So I'm going to wire it up, nice old Cable Makers Australia cord. That's just a piece of junk, that can probably be just stripped. I use that to fix other cords eventually. Anyway, I don't know what that's doing there. So I'm going to wire this up, live and neutral. Ballast it, switch it on. And just let that take the outside, it just burns and just cooks itself to death. I can't use it for anything if it's faulty and it's burning up and catches fire as soon as I plug it in anyway, so I'm going to finish it off. Okay, have you all as well? Got a cheap unknown brand, Elto Chinese extension cord here. Hooked up to a protected tan book fire outlet power point. 10 amp is a breaker. There's a switch. Switch it on. I'm about to put in a load in it though, because obviously nothing's going to come out to the side of it. The charger wasn't working, so I've got a tripod the thingy, turn it on and watch it burn. Okay, if yours, I zoomed in a little bit so the quality is probably going to be down. I'm going to take this damn thing here off. Nah, I'm alright, but let it burn off, screw it. I'll just leave it more fun that way. Turn the ballast on, turn it so I don't get the cord burnt on that element. Adjust this so I can get it to stay upright as it burns. Or if I just do this. This is probably a bit more interesting bit, so you can actually see the fire, the source. Alright, ballast is on. Power going to be on. 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Would you have these things put in your house, in your power box? No, I wouldn't. The power is still on, it's just burning. Ozone. Yeah, the ballast is getting bloody hot. I can't even extinguish it, it's like red hot. Okay, the oils are just going to interrupt it, but anyway. That got bloody hot. You can see it's all stained from the water crap that was on there. I'm gonna save this cord, I think, because it got a bit singed. I don't want to wreck that cord. It's good old Australian made cord, so I'm gonna put this crappy four outlet Chinese power board cord on there. Cord's pretty much stuffed anyway, but it can still pass that electricity safely. But I'm gonna totally destroy that cord on this switch. It's only a piece of crap anyway, that cord, so. Come on. Bloody hole on my sock. Toes poking out. And yes, it is unplugged. You don't go touching this and there's power there, you'd be fried. Just as this switch would be. Yeah, it's. Melted the cord a tiny bit, and I'm not going to torture that cord anymore. It's a good cord. Going to keep that one. This piece of crap that's going on there instead. So I'm going to wire this in. We'll try again. I don't really give a shit about this cord anyway. Crappy, sweet, dangerous power board with a dangerous cord in it. It's going to get finished off. And the bellows stores have a Texas power point too, and the other cord. So yeah, that takes sort of um, heavy loading. Okay, of yours. Crap recorder, I don't give a crap about. Oh, I'm sure there's nothing to touch in there, but the ballast. Oh, switch it on again. Let's burn out, continue. It's almost like that. This material it's made of is conducting and it's arcing, and that's carrying in the current, and that's getting red hot. I don't see how the hell this can be conductive, but it is, in a way. Yeah, that's what you get for buying Chinese circuit breakers. But, yeah, I'm gonna finish it off. Oh, that ballast is getting hot. Oh, that ballast is dead hot. Yours? Okay, yours. Look at that ballast. That is bloody red hot. 
That thing is short as crap. Okay, the oars will. I'm going to switch off now. That is one dangerous circuit breaker. I'm going to pick, pick, pick the camera off here for a second. Shit, that was a lot of current. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to put a heat proof thing in my box. Bit of cement sheeting there. Bolt that gets a cement sheeting. Protect my box. Huh. That's not even hot. Power point's cool. That's cool, so that's good. That takes all the load. Wow, that happily burns out. As you can see, that plastic got bloody red hot. I don't see how the hell that plastic can be conductive. It's almost burning like wood. There you go. I have the camera zoomed in still. The cord's not damaged either. I just melted it here. That is one screwed up circuit breaker. Keeps wanting to burn out. That's another mod I've got to put on this. Yeah, <laughs> that's gotten hot. Put a um, cement, piece of cement sheeting on there. Protect my ballast box. Let's try again. Damn, that got hot. I must be complete short now because the heading element's getting hot again. Bloody hell, how can that be safety approved? Come on, that is bullcrap. Look at that, the actual plastic itself is carrying the current like it's made of steel. That is bullcrap. There's no way that should have passed our country's safety approval. It's bloody stupid. It's got this stupid CCC approval, whatever the bloody hell it is. That is fucking dangerous, look at it. Okay, let's see if that still burns out. Yes, I did turn the power off before I did that. Alright, let's go again. Look at that, 240 volt arc. That is bloody bullshit. That should not be allowed in our country. Look at that. Yeah, these aren't even very, they are barely warm. So a ballast is a good idea. Yeah, the actual plastic itself that's holding it all together is conductive. Okay, the oars are off. Destroyed it to the point, well that's gotten really hot. I've destroyed it to the point where it won't hold itself together, so. Yeah, that's not good. Um, I'll try and get these to stay apart a bit. No direct shorting here, so it's just sitting there on its own. Now we'll turn it back on, let it arc on the wood and uh, the bloody... I might as well call it as bloody wood. Burns like wood. Mm-mm, that familiar smell. Look at that. Bloody hell. Paw! Oh, holy shit! That's a lot of fault current, and that took all the amps. This got, didn't get warm and the pins aren't even warm, so... Definitely build yourself a ballast box. I only do these experiments if you know exactly what you are doing. So, you're being warm, viewers. I only, know, I only do this experiment if you know what the hell what you're doing. So you've got to be pretty experienced with this sort of stuff. Yeah, see? I've got to put a bit of cement sheeting to protect my box. Yep, that little good tester. Good thing to have. Because if I had to plug that straight in, bang, a flash, and I threw all the circuit breakers in the house. And that would have got damaged. And what a damage it cord. I probably would have damaged this. The switch would have arced for the high color and damaged the switch. And this would have been stuffed, so... It's a good thing I got that. So yeah, if yours have been warned, stay away from Chinese nastiness. Look at that. Unbelievable. 
Okay, the oars will. You know the dangers of 240 volts and amps and Chinese manufacturing, so thanks for watching.